It's another exciting day here in East Tennessee. Actually, we're in Central Tennessee now. Tanya and I are in Nashville, Music City, and we're on our way to the Big Easy. We're going to New Orleans today for the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, which is a bucket list item for both of us. So come along as we head off to New Orleans. Tanya and I are so excited because we're on an airplane right now and we're going to New Orleans. We're not sitting next to each other. Tanya, where is Tanya? Hello. <laughs> She's throwing kisses to you. Anyway, we are off to the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, which was certainly on my bucket list and I think on Tanya's as well. So we're going to groove out to like four days of nonstop Zydeco, gospel, traditional jazz, new jazz, all sorts of stuff. It's going to be just a really big party and we can't wait to, to be there. Tanya has never been to New Orleans, so this is really going to be exciting. exciting. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Let the good times roll. Well, we got into New Orleans, last New Orleans, last night about... Uh, midnight or so and by the time we got checked in the hotel it was getting into the early morning hours and so we just promptly crashed and now it's uh, 11 30 in the morning we're finally having our breakfast and getting ready to head out to the fairgrounds for uh the, the, the first of four days marsha ball is our highlight for today just to give you an idea of some of the great performers that we're going to see you can't see them all there are like uh there's like about 12 stages uh, and they're, but they're such greats as um, uh, the Dirty Dozen Brass Band, uh, uh, the Playing for Change Band, Ted Hefko and the Thousand Heirs. They're not millionaires, they're Thousand Heirs. Uh, it, it, it just goes on and on, it's just amazing. Ziggy Marley is going to be later uh, tonight. Uh, it just depends how into do, 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 do we get into it, right? right. Okay, later. Well, Tanya and I are here at Jazz Fest, and it is a huge uh, affair. Affair. <laughs> there are hundreds of food stands, lots of stages. So we're just trying to figure out where everything is right now. So you know, we have four days to do this. So let's, we'll uh, figure it out. We just had. We just had. Oh, uh, well, we just had some water <laughs> squirt out, which was very refreshing. Oh, that felt good. Okay. Talk to you later.
course, no trip to New Orleans is complete without a stroll down Bourbon Street. And so here's the dynamic duo checking it out on a Friday morning. It's probably about, what is it, about 11? No, no, it's afternoon, early afternoon. And uh, already things are starting to warm up. The tourists are out. Everybody's got a drink in their hand. And, uh, Let's carry on. Yeah, things are looking good, don't you think? Oh, man. Let's good, let the good times roll. Exactly. Laissez le bon temps rouler. Roger that one. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> still on Bourbon Street but where we are now is toward the very end of Bourbon Street so we've gotten away from the big area with all the you know the strip clubs and all the bars and the yahoos hanging around and now it's just kind of a it's just kind of a regular regular, regular kind of neighborhood we just uh, passed a school uh, here's just a yeah just a regular street people live here of course they live here <laughs> A stupid thing to say. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, well, it's not it, it just, just a big um, uh, theme park. Theme park. Yeah, exactly. This is working. Yeah, it's a, it's a town. <laughs> okay. Once again, we're searching for adventure here in New Orleans. We've been out at the Jazz Fest, and there's only, only so much jazz you can... I, 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 I can't believe I'm saying this. There's only so much music you could possibly take. I I think it's just the whole thing. There's a I lot. think it's... Um, there's so much... So many people. It's just... Lots of people. Lots of people. Lots How of people. much you can take crowds. That's, That's right. What and it's a four-day marathon. So we're kind of taking a break right now. We took another long walk this morning. And now we're going to check out something else that uh, I don't know what the hell it is. But it says it is the Outlet Collection Riverwalk. So it's uh, it's either something like uh, San Antonio with a Riverwalk combined with uh, outlet stores, which is always one of Tanya's favorites. Let's see what's going on. Oh, <laughs> 
We're in the Garden District this morning. We took the St. Charles streetcar here and uh, it's quite very historic and pretty and uh, lots of uh, tree shaded uh, avenues. One thing Tanya and I were mentioning, uh, this is our last full day here in New Orleans and it will be nice to uh, get back to a place that's maybe a little bit more quiet. One thing about New Orleans is there is non-stop noise. Uh, or I mean it's it's a good thing it's just that my ears are ringing yeah your ears just, just are always got off ringing the street car and yeah. my ears are ringing so whether it's uh, you know uh, <laughs> street construction or it's just music or just people talking people talking <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it is that when you know people go on holiday, they seem to talk much louder. Have you noticed that? Yes, I have. Really? <laughs> huh? Why do they I can't do that? Hear you. I know. I was, I'm trying to talk louder and slower. <laughs> anyway, here we are uh, once again in the Garden District. Let's uh, take a little Ooh, in the picture of it. Oh, in the sun? Yeah, we were. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's uh, here we are in the Garden of of Good and Evil. Something like that. All right, on we go. There are just some absolutely beautiful homes here right across from Audubon Park. And I believe the area is called Audubon Place. It's a gated community and they take it very seriously. And this just reminds you of the, the old South. Or at least that's what it reminds me of. Here is the famous Tulane University. There's always something going on in the Garden District. Today it looks like they're making a movie here. So there's one of these old stately houses and it's got floodlights all over and trucks all over the place and we're, we're just waiting for the stars to come out, whoever they are. Here comes one now. Excuse me, <laughs> may, I, may I interview Anne? What, uh, uh, what, what, what is the, well, what is the, what's the film that, uh, and, uh, do you have a starring role or a minor role? Famous and Tanya's from Tennessee. 
famous Tanya from Tennessee, and what's the plot? Well, it tells you why Tanya is so famous. Well, that doesn't sound like much of a much of a story. <laughs> I'm kind of, well, we just learned from some of the crew here that the movie is uh, Mayfair Witches, and uh, it's a series, and it's on AMC. And uh, this and, is. And I'm sorry. Who was, who's the author of the book? I don't remember. But we'll have to be watching for that. Mayfair Witches, filmed here in New Orleans, right here in the Garden District. You know, you just never know what you're going to run into. final adventure of our time here in New Orleans and we're going over there to Algiers Point across the uh, Mississippi and you know um, one thing I found out uh, New Orleans is also known as the Crescent City and one of the reasons for that or the reason for that is that the Mississippi River actually makes a little turnaround here in the shape of a crescent and so that's why why they call it that and here we go tough day of touring around New Orleans and seeing, riding the cable car and or the street carts, you know, the street car, <clears throat> looking at the Garden District and everything. It's nice to come over here to Algiers, uh, which is a, kind of a forgotten part of New Orleans. Looks across the river at uh, the French Quarter, the main part of New Orleans. And we're here in the Dry Dock Cafe, which uh, like right now on, on a Monday, it was I think one of the very few places that are open. It's very close to the, where the ferry lands. Well, we're just getting ready to leave New Orleans to head back home. Jazz Fest is over and over the two long weekends of Jazz Fest, over 400,000 people visited New Orleans. So it was uh, quite a show, quite an experience, and they're looking forward, forward uh, to having it again next year. Thank you very much for watching us, and uh, stay tuned for whatever our next adventure is next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.